on the air starting live on the air rolex forever clyde stick with rolex always have your money false agree and especially agreed with the caveat if you uh buy smart and hold buy used what about gold Ooh, stay away from gold no, um, though that said, don't buy new gold. Don't buy new gold. Yeah. But, you know, actually, when you think about it, the, the older model presidents really do. They've changed so little that I actually think they're halfway decent. Would you agree or not? Yeah, yeah, I do. I always liked the president. I love gold. But I got to tell you, Clyde, I think you're better off to, if you're buying a new Rolex today, what would you do? I mean, if, say, Johnny came in and said, I want to buy a Rolex, what, if he was going to buy it from a boutique or a store, what model would you say to him to get? Now, ignoring the Daytona, because the Daytona is not available. No. Um. I'd what probably would you say, say I'd probably say black ceramic GMT or uh, ceramic ceramic sub or ceramic sub date. What about the no date? The no date sub could be a great way to go, couldn't it? I think so. I would also say uh, I I think if you're going to buy new, see if you're going to buy new. Uh, I think no date sub would be fine. I I quite like the Explorer, the Explorer one. True. I think the Explorer two, you're better off to buy on the pre-owned market. You're better, you know, it's it's something you buy pre-owned. Uh, I would say new. You could get a Milgauss. Milgauss would be okay. Milgauss Explorer one, Submariner steel date or no date. Mm -hmm. The GMT Batman or the Black Black Black. But what about what think, about the thirty? Uh, what about the thirty-nine mil uh, Oyster Perpetual? See, I think the problem is when you're starting to talk about the non-sports, it's harder to get your money back. Like the Datejust, they are really expensive new. But on the used market, they seem to drop. They drop. When you first get one, they drop a little bit, then a little bit more. It takes a while for them to drop. And I I would say sports steel Rolex. What do you think, Clyde? Agreed. Agreed. Um, the Milgoss is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. I mean, it, it. I wouldn't say the first one, though. I like it because I kind of think it is it really a sports one it, since when has science become a sport but I like the cleanness of the no date and I think I think it kind of uh, it can actually pull off being either casual science sport. became a sport since breaking bad came out that's a business that's a business I actually think I think the right mill goss can either be worn either casually or you know possibly as a sports watch even a dress watch i think two-tone are there any two-tone rolexes you could buy without losing your sh i think the two-tone bluesy sub uh, you'd still want to get that used there's too many of them out there too many of too many of them out there and let someone else take the hit um yeah yeah yeah, well, ex excluding the Daytona, then the uh, or this, well, the Sea Dweller, the Sea Dweller, you might as well, you might as well class the the new Sea Dweller. Isn't that just almost like getting a Daytona now? They're so hot that you have to suck a <coughs> stick. Or, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I under the, I understand. I right. understand, Clyde. Stick with Rolex. Rolex sports models, sports steel stunners. That's the rule. Yeah, we're in agreement. Now, would you recommend, uh, you still think the man on the moon is a good investment, is a good piece? 
Or is that I, more I, for hardcore collectors? No, no. Look, look. The problem with the man on the moon is, I'll tell you what the problem is. Number one, it's not waterproof. So if with the Rolexes, not that I advise you to take them in water unless you get the seals checked, it's going to be resistant to water damage. Whereas the man on the moon is a bit more delicate. Right. A lot of people find the fact you got to wind it up a bit of a pain in the ass. I love that. I love the 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 interface. You got that yin and the yang. I love that. Right. But the Helsolite is a little bit soft. I mean, it's not like a modern sapphire. Modern sapphire is more usable. But uh, what are you winding there? It sounds brilliant. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, you know. Ah, your Panerai. Yeah, I've got the black alligator strap coming in from combat straps tomorrow, and I can hardly wait. Yes, black alligator that's... with black stitching. Did I send you a picture of that already? Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You did. You did. That's wonderful. Clyde, I think so, with Rolex, you can do no wrong. Rolex! You can do no wrong. You can do no wrong. See, the problem is the with, with Paddock. Go ahead. Paddock is so fucking dear you're limited to the number of buyers who can possibly buy this. I mean, when you go over 15,000 US dollars, then you go 20,000 US. That's, that's a lot of fucking money. Don't you think Clyde or not? I mean, oh, in yeah, Oklahoma, you can buy a house, a wife, two kids and a condo for 25,000. Can't you? Well, maybe a condo in the shitty part of town, but yeah, pretty much. Keep with vaping, Clyde. You'll live longer. Thanks. The um, well, yeah. I think it's get buy used, do your homework, haggle like a bitch, and then hold. Yes, yes. Flip. Remember, kids, flippers are failures. Flippers. No offense, Archie. No, 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 no offense taken. No worries about that, Clyde. Well, that's um, actually one of the. Th that's actually one of the things you've actually talked about. That's one thing you advise me personally. Not and one flip. thing you would advise, yeah, don't flip, don't flip one watch to get the other watch, because yes. you look at the possibility of getting hosed on both sides of the transaction. Yes, you do, you do, you do. It's um, hello, Bob from Brisbane. He's saying prices in Australia are very, yeah, they are very tough here for Rolex. Um, look, that sounds, uh, absolutely fantastic, Clyde. I think you've got a lot of potential there. You've bought some wonderful pieces. I'm going to cut with, this video now, Clyde. With your help, of course. Don't sell yourself short, short Pontus. Oh, thank you. Clyde, I'm going to cut this now. And the next video is if I had to start again. I want to talk to you hypotheticals, okay? Okay. That sounds fun. Now, I just got to make a quick phone call, so give me about five minutes in the meantime, okay? Not a problem. Okay, we'll be back soon. Be back soon.